Matt Marr's song, Hold Us Together, is one of the most popular songs on CBN radio. It's also been in the top 10 on the Billboard audience chart for 12 weeks. Before we watch Matt and his band perform the song, take a look at this. Matt Marr is one of the most sought-after writers in the music industry. Both Chris Tomlin and Jars of Clay have recently recorded his songs. The Associated Press named Marr the top breakthrough artist of 2010 after he received six nominations at the 41st Annual Dove Awards. Marr's new album, Alive Again, reflects his heart as an artist to bring people together and share God's love. And now, here's Matt Marr with Hold Us Together. job Don't pay your bills Won't buy you a home in Beverly Hills Won't fix your life If I Your band to us. Yeah, um, on the bass we have Nkemjika and Dolo. Hello. On the drums, Colton Gatlin. Hey, and on the electric guitar, Mr. Kenny Butler. Hi, Kenny. Great to have you all with us. That song is a big hit. Tell me what its inspiration is for you. Well, I wrote it on a, I started writing it on a flight from Phoenix to Nashville that was kind of empty. And it was before they passed the stimulus bill and people were really worried about the economy. Yes. And I just found myself as a Christian, as a person of faith, saying, how do I respond to this? Because I know that the love of God is greater. And, and you know, really, I felt like in prayer, what I got was just really what Jesus says in the scripture, which is, you know, when you put God at the center of your life, mm -hmm. tough times are going to happen. But he's kind of the glue 
that that is literally keeping everything together. Yeah. You know, it's kind of what Bobby Bowden was talking about well, that, earlier. Yes, Not the exactly. players, it's the team. Absolutely. And when we have unity, God himself said, we have such strength Absolutely. in that. Uh, you used to be, well, you still are, but you used to be just a wonderful songwriter. <laughs> now you're both a writer and a performer. How did that come about? It was, honestly, I couldn't script it. I, I really didn't <laughs> see where this kind of came from. It was really just a thing of, I've been working at a church and writing songs and... I really felt like God put on my heart, I want you to start traveling. And I was like, I don't have a clue how to do this. Yeah. And, and I realized I'd been saving emails from churches that said, will you come at our church and sing? Will you come play a concert? And I looked in my inbox and was just kind of like, okay, I guess yeah. I'll start saying yes to these. What have you got in your hand, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's your inspiration, Matt? When you, when you write a song, I mean, the lyrics to the song you just performed are so tied into life as we know it hmm. today. What inspires you when you write? Well, I think it's really about just trying to be in the Word of God at all times. Yeah. And then really looking for how is God revealing that in the day-to-day -day life. So, um, you know, I always tell people just be a faithful husband, be a faithful wife, do your job with excellence. Yes. And as you do it, just try to have eyes of faith to say, God, you know, show me how your word is living and active in my life. You're a reflection. In, in the everyday. You're a yeah. reflection of the Savior. You have an opportunity to perform for a lot of young people today. And boy, there's never been a tougher time in the world, I don't think, to figure out who you are, where you're going, how to stand in the midst of it all. Tell me what, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, and what you feel God's doing. Well, I think two things. I think young people obviously have felt compelled and drawn towards uh, a desire to serve the poor. Yes. I think especially in the West, you know, in America, we're very blessed. We have a lot. And so there's this des desire to give back. Mm -hmm. And I, and I think what there is is a greater desire for just truth. They yes. just they want someone to just don't sugarcoat it, don't water it down. And maybe to make a difference. Absolutely. You think to have their lives count for something that Abs matters. Absolutely. And so I think when you sort of take this message of the gospel, which is really the truth, and, and it, it is sort of black or white in a way, yes. and it's, but it's supposed to penetrate your heart and, and do something compelling enough that you're motivated to get out into the world yeah. and to make God visible. I can't not tell people that there's a huge event coming up in your life in a week. You're <laughs> getting right. married in yes. a week, and yes. here you are here singing for us. <laughs> well, <laughs> we prayed about it, and she said, you need to go. So Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. May you have a wonderful sunny day and no hurricanes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I want you all to know that Matt's CD is called Alive Again, and it's available wherever music is sold. If you'd like to hear more from Matt, you can log on to CBN.com, click on the In the Green Room link for a web-exclusive interview.